uh, just to get things st started and sorted out. Uh, we've now got an agenda for the conference, which has been held in a few days' time at uh, Bouverie Hall, uh, which is SN95Q, something or other, missing a letter there. Anyway, it's in Pusey. And that's the normal hall we've been using for the last few years. And it's the basis 2024 Christmas uh, seminars. And that is on Eventbrite. If you want to buy tickets in advance, it's £30. And it's £30 on the door. Uh, the main thing is that uh, basically we have got a number of speakers. Teresa, we're opening with me. Giving a very short introduction as to what's going on. That's at, uh, that's at 10 o'clock. Doors open at 9 30. Uh, at 10.15, we'll be dealing with uh, Teresa Tannehill, and she's been dealing with uh, an awful lot of very important information about the recent situations and the scamdemic, the transhumanization agenda, and uh, a very large number of alarming factors which are co converging, converging, and this is extremely serious in regard to what's happening in the solar system the solar flares, the magnetic field, uh, and new arrivals, which have just been uh, announced by NASA, and also interdimensional portals opening up with uh, other things coming in. Uh, I, that's sort of echoed with Kimberly Guggen. I strongly suggest you get across UNN, Kimberly Guggen's uh, global um, situation report. Um, uh, I put that on the Facebook link on Facebook on the on my personal Facebook and the basis uh, project on Facebook. Uh, there are a lot of things happening. A lot of that is due to energetic situations and major portals. Guggen is uh, has revealed that there is a large scale array of bases between Syria, Ireland, Norway, and uh, the Nordic countries and uh, North Africa, with the central. Uh, one of these 33 huge deep underground bases, not all of them for humans at all. So uh, that's a whole new range of data. She goes into that in great detail, and I really do suggest that you do get across that. Um, having said, having diverged from the conference, I've just interviewed John F. Wilkie, and uh, he's the author of the book written and illustrated by John F. Wilkie and John L. Walson. It's John Walson's material. That's John Walson there. This book's available on Amazon, but I bought this from Devices Bookshop and I'm supporting local bookshops. So the one here in Devices is absolutely fantastic. We have a really good bookshop here. So well, while she did get this from uh, Amazon, uh, I just stick that little sticker on just to sort of be a little bit naughty. This is a groundbreaking book, groundbreaking information. Although John Walson has been publishing this material for a long time, this is the first time you're getting it in a book. Do get that book. It was, I think, £45, but I think or $45. I think the price has now gone down because it's now in mass production uh, to, I think, $16 or $17. Another very important book, which is also available, uh, this book here uh, on... on uh, This book, Alien Intelligence and the Pathway to Mars by Mary Bennett and David Percy with a forward by David Hatcher Childress. The Hidden Connections Between the Red Planet and Earth. Uh, this is a very, very uh, heavy read. It's an awful lot of information in this. Very important um, because it connects Cydonia, which of course connects with Avebury and a lot of other areas on Earth. And this is one of the subjects which uh, Thomas um, Mikey Jensen will be continuing. He gave a very good presentation uh, in the summer and he'll be doing a second presentation on that. Uh, and that starts at 11.45 to 1. Then at 1 o'clock we have lunch. And then after lunch we have John Walson uh, fronted by uh, Duncan Davis. Uh, Duncan Davis is hopefully going to be joining us then. And we'll be showing some videos that John has prepared for us. And also how the whole thing sort of started with uh, John Walson, Duncan Davis, um, two other background people. One of them being James Casbolt all those years ago. So that's a very important link into how these pictures are being taken. Uh, Martin Colburn is uh, going to be talking about suppressed energies. He was right in there with the team, with John Searle's, uh, um, um, the John Searle uh, magnetic field effect. It's the, called the Searle effect. That was all completely shut down and suppressed uh, in the early 80s. 
uh, and he's got a detailed story on that. This is very detailed and very important that we had British saucer technology in the 1980s using electrogravitic type technology. Remember, the Germans were doing this way back in the 1930s. There's a whole series of saucers uh, that the Germans were flying in in the late in the late uh, war years and also into the early uh, into the early into the early <laughs> the early 1950s and so forth and that brings you the whole Admiral Byrd thing in Antarctica and stuff like that. This is very important because it's right here in England. Uh, we were talking electrogravitics saucers technology having very high technology, specially made magnetic. Um, waveguides in these electromagnetics, uh, these sort of semiconducting magnets, which en en enables Searle's saucers to fly. And uh, Martin Colburn was right in there. Okay, we have a completely new gentleman coming, uh, Dr. Amir Jahangiri. I hope that's correct. He's actually uh, coming the whole way from Cambridge, and he's part of the super soldier, uh, the super, uh, the secret space program uh, uh, crew. And I'm very honoured to be part of that crew. I was invited there to the Full Disclosure Now conference in July. And there will be another new Disclosure Now, uh, another dis Full Disclosure Now conference in Tampa, in Florida, uh, in St. Pete's Beach in July next year. So um, Dr. Amir has got extremely deep wisdom and insights into a whole range of energies and how they can be used for healing and the whole human bio, bio uh, frame and the energetic structure of the human being. That's very important. We're very honoured to have Dr. Amir coming to talk uh, at bases on Saturday the 14th at Bouverie Hall. Uh, uh, we have a, a TBC with Sandra DeRoy. Uh, maybe she wants to spend her Christmases elsewhere, but um, anyway, she's a more than welcome, very colourful figure and striking and uh, uh, very well respected. Uh, Kerry Cassidy may be finishing the day. That's a little bit of a TBC. Normally, Kerry Cassidy comes to the UK to spend Christmas. Uh, that That isn't happening this year. I'll be spending Christmas uh, paying respects to my dear friend, uh, uh, the late Anna Hess, uh, for a few days. In the meantime, do enjoy yourselves. Uh, the whole point of having a conference is to, so people can come together and chat and meet and enjoy themselves. So we have this conference, which we will be covering in a limited capacity uh, for the internet and possibly uh, for uh, replay uh, on Basis TV. So uh, that is it for now. It's the 12th of December. Sorry, it's the 10th of December. And the conference is on the 14th, Saturday the 14th. So I do hope you're able to make it. Uh, tickets are £30 at Eventbrite. That's Basis 2024. Christmas seminars and uh, that'll be it for the year we'll have to see how the new year goes we do have plans uh, uh, and certain things that we want to get on with uh, again things are moving very very quickly uh, this new information about incoming um, objects into the solar system uh, there are major effects and uh, people getting some very good d data on uh, Saturn and Venus. And the Farsight Institute, uh, again, has put out this alert that the so-called good aliens are going to be showing themselves in broad daylight, uncloaked, there up in the sky. And you may be surprised what they may turn up as, not necessarily your nuts and bolts uh, spaceship, so to speak. However, I have, as a member of the Irish Astronomical uh, Association, I have suggested that they, astronomers, can you do better than the photographs in this book? Maybe you can modify your telescopes. This is a shout out for all astronomers. Can you do better than John Walson? And if you can, I'd like you to show your pictures in the summer what you have found up there, 500 miles up. Huge craft, but I want good pictures. No doubt about it, pictures. Maybe you can do that. 
You don't have to be an astronomer, but you do know how to use optics and you do know how to use telescopes and do know what a camera does behind the lens and take the lens off it so that you can directly resolve directly onto the CCD sen sensor in your camera. So whatever you're going to be doing, it's going to be dedicated to taking pictures up there in space. Those of you with full spectrum cameras, that's cameras which can do infrared, normal uh, vi visual spectrum and ultraviolet, get going. Get your polarized lenses or filters. See what you can see in broad daylight. This is a competition. Send your photographs in. We'll be doing something about that in the summer. However, I will be in, um, hopefully will be in Florida for the uh, second Full Disclosure Now conference in uh, Tampa, in St. Pete's Beach, in Florida, next July. That's it for now. Merry Christmas.